Hey guys and welcome back to Studio One with me Gregor. Today I want to show you some really cool ways how you can automate parameters in Studio One that you might not know of yet. So without any further ado, here we go. Automation just means that you're changing a parameter in your song over time, right? And that can be any kind of parameter that you can think of. It could be the level fader in the mixer console, but it could also be a parameter inside of any plugin, be it a native Studio One plugin or third party plugin. One of the easiest examples for automation in Studio One would be to simply right click either the pan here or the channel volume fader and then just select edit automation volume and then you get this new lane here on the track where you can draw in your automation for example i could draw in like a ramp like so and then the volume on this track would open up over time Right, and you could do that with any kind of parameter. You could also go into Pro EQ right here and then activate the low cut, right click that parameter. So it's the same workflow like with the channel fader that we just looked at and you just click edit automation. And now you have an automation lane for that as well. And I don't have to click in these points here. I can also use something like the paint tool uh, to just draw in something free handed. This also follows the grid if you want to, which is kind of nice. And um, there's also these kind of waveform presets, which can also come in very handy. I really like the parabola and I have my own dedicated video on the transform tool, which makes it super easy to invert waveforms and do all kinds of fun stuff. So if you haven't used that yet, definitely check it out. Okay, but this also works in third party plugins. So here I have the SPL twin tube and here I can also just right click any parameter and then click on edit automation. And now I get my own automation lane for this plugin on the track where it's inserted as well. That's all good, but there's a couple of other surprisingly awesome ways in Studio One how you can automate parameters and you might not know of them yet. So that's what this video is for. Um, for example, when you click a parameter right here, you can just then hit Option and A on a Mac or Alt and A on Windows and that will immediately generate the automation lane without you having to click anywhere first. Another really cool technique that I love to use is called Recently Touched. So if you go to the automation panel that you see here at the top left and you click on this little arrow here, then you're able to change the automation parameter behavior from Recently Touched to Mouse Over or rather you can uh, select mouse over simultaneously. What that does is that any parameter where you just hover your mouse over now is going to show up in that automation box. And that is also true for any plugin parameters where you hover over. Like right here, my last parameter, so to say, uh, was harmonics. And that is what I now see up here in the automation controlling box as well. The benefit of that is when I now hover over a parameter, I can immediately hit Option and A on a Mac or Alt and A on Windows to add parameters. And depending on how many automations you want, this can be potentially faster, right? Like I just clicked a bunch of times and now I've added like eight or nine automations right here uh, in just a few seconds. Whereas when I had to just click on them first and then do it, it's just a little bit less effective, right? And if I have to right click that and then choose edit automation, that's even less effective. So depending on how much you're using automation, maybe give mouse over as an option a shot. I really like using it. Like, let's say that I want to automate my pan here. I just hold my mouse over the pan here. That's all I do. Then I hit option and A on a Mac or Alt and A on Windows. And now I immediately generate an automation lane on that particular track. I love that kind of workflow. Hopefully it does something for you as well. That's just a quick tip that I want to share with you today. And thank you for watching.